2020 is gone. I started this YouTube series just for fun, to be honest. And also because quarantine was a thing and it still is. Anyway, in 2021, I will take this YouTube video series Discord more seriously. I'm gonna give away a monthly sample pack on my Discord. I'm gonna do a live stream once a week. And that means that I can start creating contests, production contests every two weeks, every month. I still don't know, but you know, expect something along those lines. And also Patreon, because more than a few of you guys suggest me to do it. And if you wanna offer me some coffee, of course, and you're gonna have early access to all my patches that I'm gonna bring to the channel. You're gonna be able to use them all and test them out and have fun with them before they get released. That's the idea. Plus some extra content, more sample packs, free FLP. You can find everything in the description. That's it for the updates. Let's go with the patch. Discord gang, at the end of the video, there's gonna be a little extra gift for you like always. Keep in mind that. You know CLA? CLA is good, but FP is good too. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah. Oops. Today, we're gonna take a look at the epic, epic. patch. So I created a clone of the CLA Epic, which is a very awesome tool. I'm gonna briefly explain to you what it does. It has four delays and four reverbs. You can blend those together the way you want. You can control all the settings of each module. And on top of that, you can route the delays into the reverbs. And this is something I discovered very early on. And I've been doing this for the longest time and it still works like so let's say you have a vocal. The vocal is sent to another mixer channel with the delays and is sent to another channel with the reverbs. And all three together, they're gonna came out as one. But if you don't put the delays into the reverb as well, they're gonna sound like they have no space. And that is the key to have those delays belong to the space you created with the reverb. I made my research about this patch. You can find the impulse responses of the hardware that CLA uses on the internet for free. And I did use them when I was shaping the sound of my reverbs, but in the end I didn't use them because I wanted to keep this one 100% stock plugins, stock impulse responses, stock samples, whatever. So I had to compromise a bit with the sound and I also had to compromise a bit with the CPU usage. And I forgot to mention that the CLA Epic is not a plugin that has wonderful reverbs and delay. What is good about the plugin is the workflow, is the approach. You can avoid doing all the routing, all the matrix, which is a very boring stuff. And with that being said, I'm not saying that it sounds bad. It sounds pretty good. You know, it's CLA. As you can see, I have two copies of the exact same vocal and one is rooted to the channel number one, which has very standard high passing, some compression and the CLA. And in the other channel, I have the same high pass, the same compression and my patch. Let's take a listen to the CLA and let's switch to the FP halfway through. Everything's so strange, but never mind. I never care, it always makes my day when you call Let's compare the effects one by one. As you can see here, we have eight CLA processed and eight FP processed, and they are 100% wet. Let's take a listen. But never mind, I never care. It always makes my day when you call. But never mind, I never care. It always makes my day when you call. Never mind, I never care. It always makes my day when you call. But never mind, I never care. It always makes my day when you call. But 
never mind, I never care. It always makes my day when you call. But never mind, I never care. It always makes my day when you call. But never mind, I never care. It always makes my day when you call. But never mind, I never care. It always makes my day when you call. Never mind, I never care. It always makes my day when you call. Never mind, I never care. It always makes my day when you call. Never mind, I never care. It always makes my day when you call. Never mind, I never care. It always makes my day when you call. As you can see, they are similar, they're not identical. Let's take a look at my patch. You can use this patch in parallel just by clicking mute dry. You have an input volume and you have an output volume. You can deactivate the effects by clicking here. Let's say you just want the tape and the plate. Boom. Let's take a look at the tape. You can set up the timing of the delay in the left and in the right channel independently. You can set up the left feedback and the right feedback. And if you want to spread it out, you can use the offset and you have a modulation knob. And the modulation knob is there in every other thing. The only difference between the tape and the throw is that the tape has that saturation and also filtering that the throw doesn't have. So the throw is more clean. Next up, we have slap. So as you can see, we have this vintage option. With this slider here, you can set up the slap delay to 7.5, like this, 15, this, and 30, like this. If you don't want to use these three millisecond time, you can deactivate vintage and have fun with the time knob. But keep in mind that if you mess around with this, it still affect the filtering feedback, so how long the slap delay is gonna be. Offset, still an offset, modulation, modulation. Last but not least of the delays is the crowd. You can make it tight or wide, and you can control the size. If you leave the pre-delay in the middle, aka you can reset it, it's gonna have the exact same pre-delay of the CLA Epic, which is 150 by default. You can mess around with it, of course. And if you want this reverb to be longer, you can by adding a digital reverb tail on top of the effect. I know it's a little bit clunky, but it just works. Same thing is happening with the others. The space reverb is a little different because it's not using a fruity convolver, it's using a um, fruity reverb too. You can increase the volume of the early reflections with this knob and you can increase the decay time. Every module has a high pass and a low pass and a volume control. So you can increase or decrease the dry volume and increase or decrease the wet volume. On top of that, on the wet signal, you can have some filtering. You have an high pass, a low pass, and a tilt EQ to make it brighter or darker. Last but not least, the routing. In the CLA Epic, these buttons activate the routing between the delays and the reverbs. The same thing happens with these buttons here. Let's say that you wanna send the tape to the plate, boom activate this. How much of it? 80 means 100%. Let's say they don't want to send less. I just turn this one down. You can even send more up until 100, which is plus 5.6 dB. And you can do that with every other thing. Free gift for my Discord members. One knob wider. It's inspired by the wider plugin, which is makes everything wider with a weird EQ. This does the same thing. It sounds different, but it does the same thing. The way you leave me in the dark, I 
aren't you clever? And of course, it's 100% monocompatible. Do you want to see more of this? Subscribe, leave a like, and join the Discord. A lot of great things are coming, and I hope to have you on board. You know, our bye. See you next time. Bye bye.